Uh, we've got just another lovely day in Planet Crafter here. I mean, just look at the world. It's beautiful. There's nothing that could possibly be going wrong right now. I mean, look, we've just got meteors flying. One smashed into my house just a second ago. You can see that it's right here in front of me. But I thought we'd bring this shabby experience back for an episode two because everyone really seemed to like Planet Crafter and wanted to see some more. So I've done a little bit of grinding and we've built our house up and then we're gonna go on an adventure. But first, let's look at the house. So this is pretty much as far as you can build, bring the house just by searching that one relic over there that we went to. I'm gonna call it a relic or a crash site. We got the aluminum out of there and this is pretty much where we've gotten. So I've unlocked storage lockers. So you can see this has some pretty good storage compared to the crates we had before. Uh, they're mostly empty because I've used all my materials. I've got a nice botanical room over here with the tier two veggie tubes, which are right here. Two ice and iron, a magnesium and a silicone. <clears throat> and I've also got a window here because I just really enjoyed how that looked. And then I've got the command center here, but let's first go check out our heat room. So these are the tier two heaters. Iridium, silicone, aluminum, titanium, and iron. So I pretty much used all my aluminum and iridium to make these three. <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still uh, I'm still pretty sick with COVID right now. So excuse the voice and uh, light coughs. So obviously we got our tier two crafter here. We can see I can make an exoskeleton suit T2, oxygen T3, backpack T3, a compass, which I actually got to, which I can't make because we need more aluminum, which hence we need to go on an adventure. I've got our interfaces here, um, which is also I need more aluminum because we need to make a communication antenna. But before we go, we're going to break one of my heaters and turn into a communication antenna and see how the communication network pages work here. And then over here, we've got our energy display. I've got three kilowatts available, which is not a lot. I've just got nine wind turbines and nine solar panels. I've, our land is still barren, but we're 42% of the way through to getting it to blue sky. So that's pretty cool. Looking at our oxygen here, 7.2 PPQs a second. We're at 17 PPT. He, I hope they do like a better unit of measure here because this is very hard to follow as a plebeian like myself, but you know, heat, it's at 30. Pressure, 26. Heat is 14.4 PK a second. We're at NKs. And then, you know, 13.5 NPAs were at, uh, yeah, that PAs. I, I don't remember what Greek symbol that is. So that's the downstairs here. Yeah, I said downstairs. We, we're going to climb upstairs, and this is the living quarters. It's not uh, fully decked out because I don't have any more, uh, what's my call it, fabric pieces to make the couch better. So I've just got some placeholders up here. I've also got this, which has my food. Which I'm gonna I'm gonna take one of those before I go, and I'm also gonna drink drink a water as well. You can see I've got some supplies with me, so we can hopefully take care of that. I've got a bed here; doesn't do anything. It's decorative, but that's the house for now. Not not too shabby. This is as high as we can pretty much build everything. So let's come over here. I'm gonna. Oopsies, that's not what I meant to do at all. Uh, give me a second here. Do do do. I'll just put that iron away. I'll grab this out of my way rebuild this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go break there we go i'm just gonna put all this away real quick let me grab this there we go we're gonna go break one of my one of my heaters here and we're gonna make this communication antenna so i need a silicone i need a silly a tit and iron silly tit iron iron tit silly okay and it's freaking dark out here. What the hell is happening? Uh, we're gonna build the communication antenna. I wonder if I can like build it up top. And let's um put it right there. So we got the communic oh power deficiency. Let's uh let me go make some power. Alright, build a couple more. Let's go check out how the messages work. Let's see what kind of life we have out here. Oh, so we got a message from Centennial Corps. Uh, this is an automated message to Convict GP8971L. You choose to commute your sentence into an extradition. If you want to be released of all charges pending against you, you'll have to fully terraform this planet. So I guess we're a high class criminal. Okay. Our sensors will periodically scan your progress and send you the required blueprints. Do not try to contact C Centennial Corps in any case. If our sensors do not detect any advancement on the terraformation process, you'll be considered missing. The charges will not be dropped. 
you cannot claim property or value of over anything on the planet. You are only allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase the terraformation index. You are not allowed to leave this planet until the terraformation is complete. Okay, so we are completely alone. We are a, <laughs> we are a freaking criminal. And uh, this is how we're going to write our name. So I've got 18 kilowatts of power left. So we've got our goodies here. This is enough for me to build a living compartment and a door so that we can get oxygen on the run if I do start to get low. And then I can also do that to build a crafting station to build more water bottles. So before I do go, I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to top off. I'm going to just eat some food and drink some water. Let's go have some fun here. So. I want to go that way, but first, there's a little valley over here, and I want to see what is in that direction. So let's head over here first. Just going to peek my head in here, grab a little bit of oxygen, and run out. And we're going to go see what's down this little valley here and see if we can find... What we're basically looking for is aluminum, uh, and aluminum, aluminum, and aluminum, because I want to build some of the new higher tier stuff, and we need aluminum for all of that. So I need to go figure out where to farm it. So check out. So this is just past the little valley here. And the resources are still the same, but we got these like stalactites just flying out of the ground here all over the place. Definitely seems I was going to say it seems like less cobalt. Ooh, look, we got something over here, right? So what I'm going to do, let's build a little field expedient shelter here, right? Right? So we're going to just plop this bad boy right there. And I'm going to build a door. Oops, I guess I built it over here. So that's where it is. And then uh, inside here, let me grab an iron and we'll make a chest now. So this is the whole point of this process, doing it like this. So now with this like little field expedient shelter, I've got a way to get oxygen. I don't have to use my tanks if I don't want to. Even though they're pretty simple to make, it's too cobalt. Um, the biggest thing will be making a crafting station, essentially, so we can uh, top off on water. So with this, I'm just going to build a quick storage unit in here. And then I'm going to dump all the food except for one. I'm going to leave me with like three oxygen tanks, perhaps. And I don't, you know, I don't need food or water for this expedition. I don't think I'll keep a water because that's uh, that's my whole inventory. So let's head in here and see what we got. So can we break some of this stuff here? Deconstruct solar panel T2. Oh, my word. Oh, my word, baby. Baby, please. Excuse me, can I can I get to that? It, it'll let me deconstruct it, but I can't. Uh, eh. Eh. Maybe I got to go up the other side right here. Ah, hey, we're smart. We know what we're doing. Uh, ooh, seed pastera. So that's 200 percent. So that's better than the that other seed we had found. That was only 150 percent. So let's grab all this. Uh, I will break this. I like to break these down, even if I just get rid of the iron later. It tells me that I've fully explored the area, so I don't have to worry about coming in here. If I come back at a later point and I see the chest, I don't have to be like, did I get that? And then go and check it anyways, because I know I will. So I'm going to go back in the house. This will top off my, our oxygen. I'm going to make another storage crate. I didn't really place these well, but it's not a big deal. And I'm just going to dump everything else back in here. And I'll put uh, I'll put one of the oxygen tanks in here, too, because I don't think we're, we're going really far. So just in case, though, uh, this should be able to be broken. No, oh, I guess not. OK, so we explored this little hole here. Double check in the tops. Nothing crazy up in there. Top off. Now, let's see. What else can we do? Deconstruct? Nope. Can't deconstruct these feetsies looking things. Can't deconstruct that thing. And we could just deconstruct everything after we found it all, right? What is that? Did that let me deconstruct something? Oh, solar panel T2 right here. Boom, there's a bunch of aluminum. Oh, we got a little canister here. Agility boosts boots T1. Don't I have that? Uh, agility boots T1, 15%, 50%, same exact thing. I'm gonna break this. And oh my word. Ooh, a 300%? Ooh, baby, give me that. Ooh, and we got uh, squash seeds. This is becoming a sick, sick discovery right here. Okay. Anything? Ah, you sneaky little bitch. I see you back here. Uh, food. Another super alloy for high-end technology. Haven't figured out how to use that just yet. All right, let's go back to the ship, deposit this, come back, pick up the rest of that in there, and then we'll check out what else is in this area. 
just outside of here, we got another tier two panel. So we'll deconstruct that. I'm going back in. We're just going to top off that hidden chest in the back here. Give me the food. Get me that little bit of silly over there. Double check the ceilings. No, no secrets hiding in here. Cool. I'm going to deposit and keep going again. So I found this. Um, I wonder if I can get in it from the top. I know I can build ladders. What do I need for that? There's just iron. Let me go grab... Let's grab, farm up some iron and see if we can get inside this thing. I can't break it, so... Um, yeah, let's... I'm gonna go do a little farming. And we're gonna see if we can get in that bad boy. From the top. I don't know. Maybe I'll try putting a door on it. Hold on. Is that, that's what I need for a door, right? Living compartment door. No, no doors. No, no doors. Okay. We'll make some stairs. Let's do this things I do for you people so you don't have to do it. So I built this <laughs> this janky ass little staircase going up here, all right? So let's see. And jump and nothing. You can't you can't uh, get in it. Quite unfortunate, honestly. I was really uh hope the hell? Oh? Excuse you? Well, son of a bitch. Ooh, look at that over there. That's where we're going to head now, but look at this view you got. Woo, baby. What's going on, girl? All right, so let's uh, jump back down here. Okay, I just, you know, floated up here. Uh, I'm going to take all my iron back because uh, screw you. Obviously, I'm not going to bring it with me on this adventure, but I'm going to leave it in one of my little houses here because I got this house too. And, you know, I'll leave, I'll leave all this iron here. Why not? Because uh, it does not matter. I'll just throw this chest down. Oops. Do that. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. Uh, give me that titanium. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab some of my materials so I can go on and adventure a little further in. We've got some good aluminum. Uh, you know what? Actually, we're going to take that aluminum. We're going to go back and I'm going to show you some higher tier crafting. Then we'll come back out this way. No, what am I even talking about? Everything works on this planet from any distance away, so I don't actually have to go back to that base if I don't want to. I do have food seeds there, but you know what? We'll just make do with what we have here. So let's make a food grower. So I need iron, water bottles, and aluminum. So let me grab some of the iron I have here. I've got aluminum in my pocket, and I do have a water bottle there. I'll grab that water bottle, and that'll do for the moment. Let me grab a few other materials here, like some silly and some titty. And I'll grab that coal bolt because what I need to do is we need to put an expansion on this thing first, right? So let's expand this bitty out. There we go. This will be our food grower room. So let's build a food grower. See how this works. I'll do it like I did the other one. We'll put it right here. And I think I had I had enough for like two, right? That one here. Oh, power power deficiency. Power deficiency. Uh, let's make. Let me grab a magnesium and an aluminum. Oh wait, uh, was it an iron? I think I needed an iron. Hold on, let me grab an iron. Iron acquired, that means we can build a tier two solar panel. We'll build it, you know, just right here. That's what's really cool about this is I don't have to have a main base. I don't have to ever go back if I don't want to. So, except for food, obviously. Food would be something we'd have to go back for, right? So let me grab this. Uh, we'll put a onion seed in here. We'll put a eggplant seed in here. So this says grow 30%. Man, this takes a lot of power. 15 kilowatts, huh? Chance to get seeds back 100%. That's pretty cool. So we'll let that grow for a second. And let's look at what else we can craft here. I can put a beacon down. We can do a tier two drill. Um, we can put more power down, which would probably be the best idea, honestly, for us at this time. And yeah, you know what? I think we're going to go with more because I, I didn't find extra iridium. So we're going to go for power. And that's what we're going to use this batch of aluminum for. So that way, when we find more further down, we can put like tier three drills down or other cool stuff like that. So let's grab iron, magnesium and two cobalt a piece so I can grab two of those, two of those, two magnesium. So I just need to grab some iron back out to our makeshift little solar farm here. Boom. Tier two. Boom. Put it like here -ish, just to get them out of our way. Tier two. Man, what a what a terrible solar farm, but it works. Plenty of power now. Is that all of my aluminum? So that looks to be all of my aluminum. I did clear out a couple chests here so we can uh, move some stuff around. I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Uh, whoops. 
I'm going to put all of this in here for a moment. I do want to use up these flowers here, right? So let's build tier two vegetation tube. So I'm going to go out and find iron, magnesium, silicone, and ice so we can make those. So then that way we can have uh, more vegetation growing and that'll get our oxygen up and that'll uh, clear out this little area. And then we'll move towards that nice little uh, like mining outcrop we saw down there yeah, where that explosion was. So I was out farming materials and I found a couple things that uh, we need to go look at together. I didn't even peek at them. I saw it and I turned around because my curiosity was going to get the better of me. And I wanted to share this moment with all of you. So let's see. I've got iron in here. Um, I do have plenty of iron. I don't have silicone. OK, let's go check it out. So let me um, I'm going to put everything in here um, and uh, I'll put that in here and that'll work for the moment. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? Let me grab uh, these real quick. I've got three of them, right? So we'll plop you in. We'll plop you in. I said you in. And we'll plop you in. That'll get our oxygen levels up even further. And uh, so, mm, hold on. Needed some hydration. Built myself a crafting station real quick. Made some water. It's just a piece of ice. And so I was walking around, you know, just picking shit up. And look what, look at this. There's a gold chest here. I didn't open it yet. So let's take a look together. Holy crap. Okay, hold on. So 400 times multiplier. That's sick. Golden seed, 600%. That's cool. Uh, moving that out of the way. We know what a super alloy is. We know what iridium is. What is this? Iridium rod, extremely condensed iridium. And then this thing, golden effigy, right click the build. Hold on. So what if I take this away? Aluminum and a super alloy. Ooh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me come, let me come over here a bit more. I want to be near the house at least, right? So wh what is this? Golden effigy, right click to build. Oh, it's just like a little thing. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was big or not, but she said, so if I just come in here, well, that's cool. Oops. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that thing. That is freaking cool okay hold on so i need more storage space now damn it uh let me grab this i'm just gonna put a chest down because i'm just trying to be quick here so again just to look at what we got real quick look at this we got an iridium rod we got more super alloy more aluminum and we got this golden sea which does a 600 so it's six times the speed and then four times that's really cool i might just take both of those on the road with us because um i'm gonna have to get an iron and a silicone again and build the screen and see when my blueprint comes up for the next tier grower because if i think i'm gonna get it while we're out and about i may just bring them with me instead of putting them here and then build them in the next place but so again i told you i found two things so i found this little cave here when i was walking by and i know and i only noticed it real quick because i saw this iridium ore right yep iridium i didn't even come up to it. i saw these things glowing in the distance so it looks like you can find iridium out in the wild like this. And there's some crazy shit going on in here. Like, look at this cave. Look at this. Oh, I gotta. I might need to bring some iron with me so I can like climb, but we grab that. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to use all this iridium while while I'm out here too, just to build some more heaters. I can get back, right? Yep, there's iridium there. Look at this. How do you get through all that? Like, is there a way in there? Ooh, what is that? That's different. Is that the super alloy? Wonder if there's a um, a thing I can make. Oh, hold on. Not deconstruct, right? Yeah, deconstruct doesn't do anything, but I wonder if there's a way for me to... Well, there's got to be. There's ice in there, so there's got to be something I can build that'll melt that. Or maybe just getting the heat down on the planet or the heat up on the planet. Hmm. Maybe that's why there's a bunch of iridium in here. You know, I'll build all of my heaters in here. So I need to bring, I'll use the rest of, I don't have other aluminum, do I? So I'll just get regular iridium or regular heaters going in here. Yeah, nothing special in there. Okay. All right, let's build some heaters and see if this stuff will melt just by putting heaters next to them. But this was a cool little spot to find. 
I had an extra aluminum in one of the chests here. So, and I realized when I opened up my crafting, apparently we did unlock VegaTube th tier three at some point when we were walking around. So 13 a second compared to 1.2. Energy is 7.25. So let's throw one of these down. Ooh, they're huge, huh? Wait, do these go outside? These go outside. Oh, that's cool. Hold on, what's the description of it say? There's a seed in this to generate O2. All right, well, it goes outside though, so that's cool. And then I'm going to grab the, yeah, that's the six times, right? Yep, the six times and put that in there. We're going to see how cool that thing starts to look. And I'm also thinking what I'm going to do. Wow, look at that tick up now, too. That's going to do really good for us. That looks awesome. Um, I may break one of those so I can build. I don't know if I, you know, I don't think I care about the heat so much. Obviously, I've got, I've got two of them at the house, so that's doing fine. Um, I may break one though to make another veggie tube for sure actually yeah let's do that i don't know how much power i have left over so let's see what happens if i break one okay we're still fine um we're gonna build another veggie tube i've got it oh i'm just missing a water bottle i know i've got ice in here take that water bottle i'm back outside i'll put it on the other side of the door though right here and then we'll do the four times See how cool that looks. Okay, cool. We're still efficiently drawing power. That's doing great. I'm very happy with that. Um, as for the rest of these, that's only like 150 and two times. So I'll just build regular old veggie tubes to fill up the rest of this in here. And then that'll get us our oxygen. God, look at these. They're beautiful. Woo. I'm actually really enjoy. I think my favorite part so far that we've made it to is uh, the fauna. I love being able to grow my own shit like this and being able to see it and everything in here. I think it's awesome. It's super, super duper cool. And I really like uh, this very golden phallic object as well. I think that's really cool. I can't wait to see what I get from my seeds here. I'm probably going to break these down when I leave, though, honestly. Um, just because I don't know how well the food grow is going to work when I'm not here. And we're going to be leaving here shortly anyways. And I'm going to go make those heaters now. So I need silly iron. I've got two silly on me. So let's grab two iridium and go do a quick test of roux, okay? All right, sick. Moment of truth. Let's see what's in, if I can melt these ice caves with a tier one heater. Well, oh, these have to be placed indoors, so that won't work. Hmm. I mean, I can grab a titanium and place it over here, but we'll, uh let me let me do some testing let's uh let's let's think about this here let's see what we can do let's see if uh something makes sense okay so i got rid of the food growers because the food did grow and i got the seeds back and what you get from it, it takes a really long time i get 40 health from the squash and 25 health from the eggplant so i'll keep these of course um and we'll eat them but i'm not going to be too keen on them because that's some aluminum that we can use, put to good use. And while I was kind of going around crafting, I kind of figured that ice wall, it's either going to melt when the heat goes up or maybe it's an unmeltable ice wall. And there's another way in there and it's kind of just a blockade. I have to get around it. Those are my guesses. But in that time, we also unlocked the advanced craft station, which would require three aluminum. And I only have two. So we'll have to make that at the next place we go to. Um, that or do I have anything here I could really break? Um, they could break one of these. Here, you know what? Let's test it, right? Let's take this out. I'll break this up and let's build this. So let me grab a titanium and a magnesium. Titanium, Maggie. I built a couple extra rooms here for some space. So let's check out. Oh, I put the, I clicked the wrong ones. Uh, two titanium, two magnesium. Let me put uh, that water away. Okay, there we go. That should be right now. So we've got the advanced craft station. Craft new tools and blueprints. Let's just throw this down right in this room here. That looks really cool. All right. So what can we make here? So I can make a tier four. Oh, I can make tier four everything here. Super out al three super alloys. I'd have to go get some, but that's not a bad idea for me to do. Uranium rod. We haven't found uranium yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nine uranium to make a rod. Nine iridium to make an iridium rod. Wow, we were lucky. And then super alloy is one of everything. Okay. Rocket engine. Engine for rockets. And then tier, tier two boots would be a rocket engine. That's crazy. 
That is craziness. Okay, so uh, let's see. What do I have here for super alloys? I have two, right? One there and two here. So actually, I've got I've got some space in here. Let's build a bigger oxygen tank. So let me grab a cobalt. Let me take off my oxygen tank and let's grab that. Look at that. That is sick. All right, so now we've got 370 oxygen. That's really cool. Uh, the backpack would be nice, but before we do that, mm, actually, you know what? While I've got this up, so one of each. Oh no, because that's going to cost me aluminum. So we're not going to do that. So that's everything I've got here. I'm not going to bother going back. I want to keep progressing ahead. So I'm going to deconstruct that and we're going to build a tier three heater instead. Damn, because we need to get the heat up on this planet. Look at that. Look how cool that is. Uh, but what I want to do, I want to put it like right in the middle of the room. Like almost like this whole little room is dedicated to this one enormous heater. Look at that. I don't like the angle though. Let's turn it. Kind of like this, right? Yeah, that looks, that looks sexy. Look at that bad boy. Put a door on here. No, no door. Let's do a window. Let me grab a piece of cobalt. Cobalt. Window. Ah, look at that. That shit's beautiful. Ooh. Mwah. So I still have two aluminum, though. I could make another one. Oh, no, I can't because I don't have iridium rods. I could I could make actual heaters, um, but I do need to go put my other plant back outside. What am I missing for that? Oh, silicone, maybe? Oh, yeah, I need some more silly, huh? Getting a little low. That's okay. That's okay. Let me put uh, that back in here. Let me put the flower back in here. And the iridium, actually. Let me take the flower out. Put the iridium in here. We'll do something with that before we go. But that right there. I've reached the end of the prologue. Uh, wish lifts Planet Crafter to continue. Oh, so 200,000 is the end of the prologue here. Let's take a look. I've got this up. So that's um, terraforming here. So I can't get these items here in the prologue. So that means we can't get a launch platform. Uh, process of sending rockets into space. We can't get the atmospheric water collector. Automatically collects water from humid ambient air. We cannot get the water, the lake water collector. Collects and filter water from water sources. Okay. And we cannot get the water filter. Allows to drink safely from lakes. Okay. That's fine. So that means I should still be able to get the seed spreader, which I can place a seed in this to grow flowers on a small area outside, which is really cool. Um, I should be able to get heat. Yep, that's still going up. Especially now that we got the big boy in there, so that'll help us out. So we should be able to get the biodome, which will is a perfect place to grow plants and generate O2. So it's a bigger version. I wonder if it just holds more, and that's going to go outside as well. Algae generator grows underwater algae, generates biomass. Uh, place on a water surface. That's pretty cool. And then obviously a biodome too. And then down here we have the nuclear reactor, which we haven't even found uranium yet. We've got an ore extractor. That's really cool. And we've got nuclear reactor. So why don't I use the rest of my aluminum and make tier three drills and see where that gets us. So I've got two. Let me grab two titanium. Oh, I died. Uh, dying in this game means nothing. Uh, I don't. That's why when I'm like in the ships and stuff, um, I don't bother with eating or drinking because you'll just respawn here right where you were without any consequence. So no issues, no issues. I'm missing a titanium. Let me go grab one. And while I'm grabbing that, making sure you hit that like button down below. And if you're really loving this and you want to see more because there is other areas for us to explore, we've only hit this. I have to keep going down that way. And if you want to see that, you got to hit that like button. You got to comment, let me know what you're thinking and do hit that subscribe button as well. So you do get back here for that next episode if that's what you want to see and you haven't already subscribed. All right, let's go drill. Let's see how big this is. Look at this bad boy. I'm gonna put it um, over here. It's pretty big. I like this. How cool is that? That looks sick. That'll help us get the pressure up a bit. Woo, that is cool. That is cool. I really like all the stuff in this game so far. It's not a challenge though. But, you know, I'm hoping as the things progress, because with there being no consequence to dying, like when I go out and farm, when I don't have low, when I have don't have high food or water, I'll just die and respawn back at the base because it's quicker than walking back myself. 
So, but all right, I'm going to, what do we got? That was all of our aluminum, right? Yep, so that's all of that stuff. Oops. Uh, that's my food, that's my seeds, that's all this. Yep, that's all the aluminum we got from here. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna carry on. I am going to just quickly, you know, I don't really care about anything else really. I'm not even gonna, nothing here really interests me. Two, four, six, eight. I could have probably, I could have turned one of those into an iridium rod actually, but that's fine. I'm not gonna stress over it. Um, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna end this episode here. And like I said, if you do want to see more, you better hit that like button down below or leave comments. Let me know because otherwise I won't know if you guys want to see what's further down that way and continue exploring in this prologue. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Do, and hope the rest of your day is not too shabby. <laughs>